All right, hello guys. Uh, my name is Juan Carlos Cuevas. I'm here to talk to you guys today about Andy Warhol. So, uh, Andy Warhol was born on August 6, 1928, and he died on February 22nd, 1987. Um, he was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's his hometown, which is where his um, the Andy Warhol Museum is currently located. Um, this museum is one of the largest museums in the United States dedicated to one single artist. Uh, a couple things you guys, a couple paintings or works you might notice, uh, you might recognize uh, by Andy Warhol, uh, include the Campbell's Soup Cans, which uh, is pretty famous. Uh, he painted that in 1962. Um, he was an American. His nationality was American. Um, he died in New York. Um, and he was famous for a visual art movement known as pop art. Uh, his works explore the relationship between the art artistic expression and celebrity culture, as well as advertisement that flourished in the 1960s. Um, he was sometimes seen as a controversial artist um, for many reasons. Um, he also encompasses, encompasses many forms of media, uh, which include um, drawing, painting, paintings, printmaking, uh, silk screening, photography, uh, sculpture, just to name a few. Uh, he was also in a, um, into a lot of film and music. Um, Warhol uh, has been the subject of numerous retrospective exhibitions, uh, books and features and documentaries. Uh, he, was, he coined uh, the expression known as, uh, which most, most of you probably have heard of, uh, 15 Minutes of Fame. Um, he was widely known for that expression. Uh, many of his creations are very collectible and actually very valuable. Um, one of his paintings, um, titled uh, Silver Cash Crash, uh, Double Disaster, sold for $105 million, uh, which he painted in 1963. So that was, um, I mean, his stuff is highly collectible and highly expensive. So if you can get your hands on it, I mean, pretty good stuff. Um uh, moving on to his religious beliefs, uh, Warhol was a practicing Lutheran Catholic. Uh, he regularly volunteered at homeless shelters in New York, particularly during busier times of the year. Um, and he described himself as a very religious person. Uh, many of his latest work de depicted a lot of uh, religious subjects, including two series, uh, Details of Renaissance Painting uh, from 1984 and The Last Supper, 1986. Uh, in addition, a lot of religious themed works uh, was uh, was found um, in his, were found in his estate. Uh, during his life, Warhol regularly attended mass, um, at, and the priest at Warhol's church, which was Saint Francis Fur, uh, Fair, uh, said that the artist went there almost daily. So he was uh, really well known in in his uh, at his church, and he was seen as a really, really religious person. Uh, some of his collections, uh, Warhol was, he was actually a very avid, uh, collector. His friends referred to him to, uh, to his numerous collections, uh, which he filled not only with 40 story, uh, not only his four story townhouse, but also a nearby storage unit. So he had so much stuff he collected that he, in his townhome, he couldn't collect it all. So he also got a storage unit where he would store all that stuff. Um... Uh, the true extent of his collection was never discovered until after his death, uh, when the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh took 641 boxes of his stuff. So a lot of the stuff in the in his um, in his museum in Pittsburgh is from his stuff, his private collection that nobody ever saw until after his death. So he's one of those artists that was um, more widely known or more just. Uh, they discovered more about him after his death. Um, uh, Warhol's collections included airplane uh, airplane menus, unpaid invoices, pizza dough, pornographic pulp novels, newspapers, stamps, supermarket flyers, and cookie jars. A lot of random stuff, but stuff that you would see in his museum. Uh, one of his main collections were a couple of wigs. War Warhol owned over 40 uh, and felt very protective of his hair pieces, which were sewn by the New York wig maker. Um, Warhol was an openly uh, gay man. Um, he was a very notable gay man who lived openly. 
uh, before the liberation of the of uh, before gay liberation movement. Uh, he had a studio called the Factory, uh, which was a famous gathering place which brought together distinguished intellectuals, drag queens, playwrights, bohemian street people, Hollywood celebrities, and very healthy patrons. Um, so that was very interesting. Something very interesting about I found about him. A um, couple other things. Um, in the mid-1960s, Warhol adopted a band, the Velvet Underground, making them a crucial element in exploiting plastic, uh, inevitable multimedia performance art shows. Um, he designed many album covers for various artists, uh, starting with the photographic cover of John Wallowich, uh debut album. Uh, he designed the cover for the Rolling Stones album, Sticky Fingers, Love You, uh, Love You, Love You Live, and John Cale's album, The Academy and Pearl. So he's done a lot of, um, I mean, he's branched out and done a lot of um, expressed art in very different art forms, um, which I thought was very a very notable thing. He didn't just stick to one specific thing. He he branched out. Um, uh, when he died in New York City uh, on February twenty second, nineteen eighty seven. According to news reports, he had been making good recovery from his routine gallbladder surgery uh, at a New York hospital before dying in his sleep uh, from sudden post-operative uh, cardiac arrhythmia. Uh, prior to his diagnosis and operation, Warhol uh, delayed having any recurring gallbladder problems checked and he was afraid to enter hospitals and see doctors. So um, his family sued the hospital for inadequate care, saying that the... Arrhythmia was caused by improper care and uh, water intoxication. Uh, the malpractice case was quickly settled out of court where his family received an undisclosed sum of money. So they did get something out of his death. Um, his body was taken back to Pittsburgh where his brother, uh, by his brothers for burial. The wake, um, they had a wake for him at a funeral home and uh, it was an open coffin ceremony. The coffin was a, a solid bronze coffin. Um, Uh, a couple other things. Warhol was uh, dictated, uh, will dictate that his entire state, with the, express, with the exception of a few modest legacies and family members, would go uh, to create a foundation dedicated to the ambassador of visual art. So he did contribute to art even after his death. Um, a lot of his estate, um, some of his family, but he did create a foundation uh, dedicated for advancement of visual art. So he was really into art. He really wanted to make a difference living and even after he died. Uh, he had so many possessions that took um, took uh, nine days to auction his estate after his death. The auction grossed more than $20 million. So a good sum of money uh, to distribute within uh, the foundation and his family. Um, in uh, 1987, the Andy Warhol Foundation for Visual Arts began. The foundation, uh, it serves uh, as an estate for Andy Warhol but also has um, has, a, has a mission to foster um, innovative artists' expression and create, um, kind of uh, encourage other artists to create things um, and focus primarily on supporting work of a challenging and often experimental nature. So sometimes people want to express art um, and they're not, they don't have the means to do it, but his foundation um, does help with things like that. Uh, the Artist Rights Society and the U.S. Copyright Representative uh, for the Andy Warhol Foundation uh, for Visual Art, for all of uh, Warhol's work, with the exception of Warhol Film Stills. The U.S. Copyright Representative for Warhol Stills uh, is in Pittsburgh for his museum. Uh, the Foundation for the Visual Arts has agreements in place with uh, its image archives. All digital images of Warhol are exclusively managed uh, by, one, by one person. So... Um, yeah, he was a uh, really renowned and really uh, a cool artist that, I mean, just made an impact and is still making an impact. I mean, helping other artists with anything they might need help with. So, yeah, uh, that's what I have.